Hi guys, Ka Sourdough Kathy here and I'm going to give you a little um, review on what's going on with my European night crawlers. I now have my Europeans changed out. I have them in three different bins and I have one back there and we'll go to it in a, in a bit. And I wanted to try and see how they would do in cardboard. And I, and because I'm out of leaves, these two bins are peat moss, which I talked about in my African Nightcrawler uh, video. Now, I must say that since I put the ones in that bin with the cardboard, I have had more try to escape than any other bin in the house. Now these two that are in peat moss, they don't try to get out at all. But the one that has cardboard, they do. Now I'm not sure if it's because they run out of food faster or if it has to do with the cardboard. And uh, because I know that they are eating it. I found a piece where you can see because I cut with a razor blade and I can see that pieces are being pulled off the edges of the very thin uh, big pieces of cardboard and I'll try to show you that but right now we'll take a look and see at uh, the one of the bins and I'll let you see how they're doing now I hope this lighting is okay a lighting is always an issue with looking at bins so I'll bring them a little closer. Hopefully I can find you a worm ball here somewhere. You can see there's worms. I know there's a worm ball here. Oh, there we go. There's a big worm ball. Now, you know, most of these are very small and I don't know what it is with the European night crawlers. I didn't get them small when I got them they were large but it seems like from generation to generation they have a tendency to get smaller that's not to say there aren't some big ones in here because there are probably big ones deep the, the big ones have a tendency to go deep uh, rather than staying on top now I'm going to move over to this one now the second one does not have as many in it. It has a lot of younger ones in it. But there are some, uh, there are worms in here. So let's see if we can find some worms. And there they all are. They all like to stay together. They're eating together. Lots of wormies lots of them and it looks like they need more food already okay see over there there they are I'll bring you closer nope closer so there they are they're doing fine they love the bedding they're eating through that too and you can see the difference that's when it dries out uh, I'm getting to realize the feel of when um, when it's turning to castings, especially when they're in a ball. You can see the difference and feel the difference of the castings uh, between castings and what is peat moss. Now I expect it's going to take a lot longer for them to blow through this peat moss than it would have been to blow through the uh, the leaves because I didn't ever put as much in. Excuse me for turning you around kind of wonky there for a minute. Okay now I don't have a lot of room right now because these bins are quite large uh, and I have a f tendency to fall over like a weeble. Okay this is the one that has the cardboard as you can see and I wanted to try and make my point about knowing that they're eating the paper. 
if you look at this, let me see if I can sh pull back a little bit. If you look at this, you can see where little pieces are nibbled on around the edges. Gets thin, and when it gets thin, they're able to pull it off. See that? These were square pieces when I cut them. They're not square anymore. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't some uh, mites in here, because there probably are, but I never see mites until after I clean out my bins, and they're in uh, the cast, and I take out my castings, rather, and they're in their buckets, and the mites have a tendency to crawl up to the top whether it's for air or whether they're looking for food I don't know but because I always leave it open a little so there's always oxygen going in so let's see if we can find some worms in here there they are now this bin has a lot of worms a lot more than any of the rest of them here's a big batch of them Oh, here they are. Holy mackerel. Now that is a worm ball. Look at that. Look at them just crawling all over the place. Oh, so cool. And for you wormies out there, you know that's cool. You know how cool that is. Look at it. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. But you can see they're small, a lot of them. They're not real big like they normally should be. I mean, they should be getting bigger. And I'm going to look on the side here and see if I can find me a big one. Because I know I've had big ones. And see, even that's not big. They used to be gymungus. Like I said, I've got thousands and thousands of them and pounds of them. But no gymungus ones. Here's some more. But they're eating... They're eating away. They're eating everything. So, I can't complain. So that's it. There's one not too big. But the last time I showed you, uh, when I showed you my worms, I found all big ones. Now it seems like all I've got is a bunch of little ones. But I haven't had any... De uh, well, I'm not going to say I haven't had any deaths, because the ones that managed to crawl out of this tub... Uh, yeah, I had a couple dead ones, so there's not much you can do. I actually come in here um, when it's raining, and if it's raining badly, I turn the light on, and if I come over to the, and sometimes I find them on the floor almost dead, but what I do is I keep a, a little container here with some water in it, and if you'll throw them into the container, they'll get wet again, and they see, and I leave them there for a while until they rehydrate, and if they're alive, if they, you know, they have five hearts. So if you leave them there long enough, and you, start, you see they're moving around, then they'll make it, and I just throw them back in the bin again, and they're fine. Now, if you come in, you find them flat on the floor, you're not going to be able to do that, of course. So that's it for now, folks. Uh, I wanted to make these as short as possible. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the nice, big, fat worm ball. And uh, I will be back. And I hope you'll give me a check, a like, a subscription. Tell your friends about me. I love you all. Take care now. Bye-bye.